Hi, this is Elizabeth with Yoga Fairy Prenatal Yoga. This is part two of our lap loom video. It's the little um, Harrisville Designs one that uh, Eva got for her birthday from the Magic Cabin catalog. Great company, by the way. So you can see her doing her little stick back and forth. Apparently our guess about how to do this was correct from our first video. So because look, she's really got a, a good fit going here. Yeah, and it's starting to pull together. So all you do is interweave that little stick. You make a tunnel for the thread. And then she puts the thread through the tunnel. And here she goes. She's doing two colors. We did end up cutting off like the ball of yarn at the end of the thread and it makes it a lot easier because we realized once we got going that there's no way for that ball of yarn to go anywhere so we should just cut it off so then she pulls out this stick she slides down the first one makes another tunnel and then she pulls that through that was just a little extra movement she made that's completely unnecessary Although I make it so that I can measure it and make sure that it's long enough. Oh, to okay. It is necessary. I'm sorry. I take it back. She's actually measuring how much thread she needs off of the, the little stick. Then she pushed that up to keep it there for the next time. And then she likes to push it down with her fingers. They recommend you use like a table fork, but you can use fingers too. And then she starts to weave the second stick again. Again, she's weaving the opposite threads than the first stick. Okay, so if the first stick started with the threads on top, the second stick would start with the threads on bottom. Those little white threads is what I'm talking about, not the color ones. Okay, you can see the difference there. She's showing you. Thanks, Eva. Okay, so she does that. She makes her tunnel, and then she unwinds her thread a bit. Unwinds it, she measures, and then she pushes it through the tunnel. That's it. Okay, you can see hers is taking on a little bit of an hour shape, and that's typical of beginning weaving. That's what they say, like be careful about the edges so that it doesn't start to pull like that, but we don't really care. We actually sort of like it. So, you know, but if you want to pay attention to that, you can. And then she pulls down the first one. So when she gets to the end, and we have no idea what to do at the end, but we'll figure it out when we get there, we'll post a third video. Have a great day.